So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, what we have here is a graph question. It looks like the x-axis here is the area of rainforest in square miles, and the y-axis is the predicted number of flowering plant species. Okay, So that tells me that you know an 80 square mile area of rainforest should have about 30,000 uh, flowering plant species. All right? So that's how we read this graph. So the question says the graph models the relationship between the area of a rainforest, A, in square miles and the predicted number of flowering plants species, P, found in that area. What equation represents this relationship? All right. So, you know, an easy way to deal with this is to pick a point on the graph and plug those values in to see which which quite or which answer choice matches the the values that we've plugged in. So by that I mean if we know that let's just go back to the one I chose because that's actually the best one. We could have used we could also use this one smaller. I could say you know when a is forty, we expect p to equal fifteen thousand. Right, it's right in between ten thousand and twenty thousand. So, if that's the case, when I test out answer choice A, that would mean that 15,000 should equal 200 times 40. That is not true, which means A is not true, right? Because if A were correct, it should actually describe what actually happens on the graph. So, choice B, same exact situation. Is it true that 15? thousand is equal to 375 times 40. 375 times 40. I think that actually is true. So we cannot use a calculator on this section. So I'm going to just show the math. So instead of just doing this in my head, right? So I have 0, 0, 0, and then 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30. And 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15. We add up everything here. And what do we get? We actually do get 15,000. So B, I like. How about C? Is it true that, you know, that 15,000 is equal to 500 times 40? No, not at all. And D, the same thing, right? 750 times 40 is not going to be 15,000. So D is also gone. So choice B is the correct answer here. And all we did was choose a point on the graph and plug it in. So in essence, I used plug in information from question. That's the strategy, PIQ. Plug in the information from the question. And you could use any point, but you know there are only really two points on this graph that make any sense to use because they're the only ones that we know for sure um, what the values are. And those are the ones that go directly through the intersection of our A value and our P value. So that would be right here, right at 40 and 15,000. And then again, right here at 80 and 30,000. And that's it. Everything else, anywhere else, like here, I'd have to try to guess. I mean, I know that's 60, um, but I don't, you know, I'd have to guess. I'd have to guess what that is. I'd have to guess any of these other points, right? But where these squares are, we know for sure.